very good evening students this particular session which we are talking about is basically related to indian history that is called ancient history of india for which we are going to talk our, about a very important topic or time frame from the history that is modern dynasty or ise maurya kal ke naam se bhi jante hain so what we are going to learn from this particular video session we are going to talk about mauryan empire we are also going to talk about origin and growth facts and their relations with greek this is what the trajectory for this particular session this session will be projected through different type of discussions mainly which may be relates with the uh, ppt presentation so let us go through the discussion let us talk so as far as mauryan dynasty or mauryan empire is concerned it is believed by the majority of the historians of india that this particular dynasty had ruled to this country within 321 to 185 bc that means he, it has ruled the 4th century to 2nd century bc mauryan empire is considered to be uh, as a part of the ancient india it is a uh, state center to patliputra that is called patna so overall the origination of this particular um, dynasty is been considered to the eastern part of the country that is called the patliputra mainly patliputra which was the the epic center for this particular dynasty as far as uh, the uh, other areas are, are concerned the junctions of uh, patna or patliputra are the immersive areas where ganges and other the rivers been flown and they these uh, these rivers had contributed this land to be a very productive land this uh, dynasty as i have stated lasted about 321 to 185 bc and was the first empire to encompass most the indian subcontinent now why it has been called originated from the eastern part but it, this dynasty had uh, emerged into the world community uh because it had contributed india as a whole a lot of good things and also been considered this this dynasty was the first among any dynasty in the indian history that had ruled for almost the indian subcontinent let us proceed further uh as far as administrative uh, aspects are concerned uh, modern empire was efficient and highly organized autocracy with the standing army and civil uh, uh, services which is which had uh, contributed a lot to the their uh, dynasty the bureaucracy and its operations were uh, the models of arthashastra that is called science of material gain written by kautilya or chanakya kautilya is been uh, the narrator of this particular uh, dynasty he is basically the mentor or trainer for the rulers a work of political economy similar in the tone of scope of nico machiavelli nicolo machiavelli so once you are talking about nicolo machiavelli's uh, economics of world or political affairs it is equivalent to this indian framework let us understand about growth and patterns uh, it was the last nand rulers dhananand for which uh, highly unpopular who uh, for which the reason uh, reasonably highly unpopular and uh, because of uh, his uh, oppressive tax regime the he was unpopular and that is because the uh, nandas were uh, became unpopular and masses were looking to change and gradually it had been confined through the chanakya also post alexander's invasion on northwest india uh, that had given a lot of momentum to the foreign powers as i discussed in this uh, similar lectures the indians have been india have been attacked by the northwestern part so this is what the reality in in the context of certain uh, part there was unrest unrest in the in terms of there are lot of invaders or foreign powers they used to come to india and ruled some of these re, uh, region regions comes under the rules of uh, seleucus nicator dynasty that is called seleucid dynasty founded by seleucus nicator and he was the one of the general of the alexander the great chandragupta with the help of uh, an intelligent and politically 
absolute Brahman called Kautil upset the throne by defeating Dhananand in 3021 BC. So this is what the origin aspect. There are three important rulers are Chandragupta Maurya, Vindusar, Ashok. As we have discussed the time frame, some or the other historians have a doubt. So 321 to 20, uh, 324, the time frame ranges. But exactly, it's it should be considered as 321 as the beginning of the modern dynasty. Ashoka, Vindusar, and Chandragupta Maurya are, are the three other, or were the three were other important rulers. Founder member of uh, empire Chandragupta Maurya. Chandragupta Maurya was the brilliant uh, uh, warrior. He had uh, Chandragupta's origin is uh, surrounded in mystery. The Greek sources were the oldest mentioned him to be the non-warrior in lineage. Non-warrior meant for uh, he was warrior in in by the habit, but not the warrior by the birth. Mention him on the non-warrior lineage. The Hindu sources also says that uh, he was the student of Kautilya, humble birth, uh, probably born in the Sudra woman. Most Buddhist sources says he was a Kshatriya. So there is a doubt in the historians. So this is related to the founding founder Chandragupta Maurya's acceptability. It is generally accepted that he was an orphan boy, 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 uh, boy born into the humble family of uh, and trained by the Kautilya. Let us uh, quickly consider about certain facts with the, which are related to Mauryan Empire. Mauryan Empire have got a certain relationship with the Greeks. Now, why they have got the the relationship? India was uh, identifying the lot of uh, uh, civil wars from the prospect of their different other countries and countrymen. They are they are coming and and uh, coming to devastate the country as a looter and firmly they later. Uh, regenerate, reju, uh, rejuvenate themselves as a uh, essential part of the country by while um, making the marital relations with the moderns. Alexander and uh, uh, his uh, uh, for, for, for forthcoming uh, rulers had uh, uh, certain relations with the modern modern uh, dynasties. Chandragupta had defeated some of the Greek ruled cities in northwestern part of the country. Kautilya proved the strategy while Chandragupta executed the same. They had raided a mercenary army of their own. Then they moved to eastward of uh, eastward of the Magadha. In the series of battles, they defeated defeated the Dhananan and led the foundation of Maurya. Certainly, in this quest, uh, they had. Uh, Deliberately used the uh, powers of uh, Greeks by their marital relations. Greek have been uh, considered as an ambassador of Chandra uh, Chandragupta uh, court because they want to have the alliance between uh, two powers, and they they want to have less uh, uh, enemies in the subcontinent. So this is what the. Uh, discussion related to this particular topic. I hope uh, after this particular topic, we have com- concluded modern empire origin and growth, facts about the modern empires and their relations with the Greeks. Most of the time, they have the enemy relation, the war war f- uh, front relations, and later on they are having the administrative relations followed by the marital relations. For today's lecture, thank you so much. Till then, it's good night.